Many years ago, uh, the Diocese of Texas uh, began to realize that we had to figure out some alternative ways of offering ministry and mission through ordination to congregations uh, that could no longer afford full-time uh, ministry. And luckily for me, Andy Doyle, the bishop of the Diocese of Texas, several bishops ago began uh, to figure out how to do this formation and work. Just recently, I visited one of uh, these small congregations in a small town, several hours, uh, well, I guess an hour outside of Houston, and I want to share what I saw. I went there to ordain a priest, and uh, this congregation is a historic congregation from the late uh, 1800s. It's been around forever uh, in this small community. It does uh, work with schools. It does scholarship programs. Uh, it uh, uh, has a footprint of providing space uh, for uh, people. Uh, they've uh, just redone uh, their uh, parish hall uh, to provide more uh, a nice uh, meeting space for groups in the city. And what I will tell you is we had this amazing ordination, and it was fantastic, and the congregation was full. It was diverse uh, with literally all kinds of people, uh, and a clergy from the surrounding area came and supported this congregation. And what a sign of hope, right, that in the midst of a season where uh, we're so concerned about the church's future, we uh, have been able to... Uh, figure out ways to provide and support people in ministry. This is not just a sign of hope because, oh, there's a priest there. This is a sign of hope because we believe in lay-led, clergy-supported ministry. And what we're able to do through our training uh, of clergy is to provide in these small town communities uh, a, a ministry that supports, through sacramental life, through prayer and worship, uh, people who are sharing what they have, uh, doing the good work of spreading the gospel through action uh, and doing good works. And uh, as the Hebrews remind us, this is such a core part uh, of what we do as Christians. So I hope uh, as you uh, look and consider uh, uh, hope uh, wherever you may find yourself this week, that this might be an inspiration to you. And uh, perhaps God is calling you into some form of ministry uh, in a small community to do this work. Find the hope that is around you for uh, one of the greatest gifts I've been given as a bishop is to week after week uh, see and discover uh, hope through what God is doing in the lives of people in the diocese of Texas. We'll talk soon.